All right, well, I woke up one morning, and uh, I had some extra time, and I thought, what could I do for a fun, quick, simple project just uh, in my spare time? And um, I thought, you know what? I wonder if I could make a motor out of just toothpicks. Just uh, get some toothpicks and glue them together like we did when we were kids and make something out of toothpicks. And I thought, okay, let's let's just see what will happen. So I started out with, I thought, well, I'll just make the rotor first and see what happens. And this project spun off in another direction. And sometimes my projects do that as it starts out one way and then ends up going another way. But this ended up being really kind of fun and fascinating. Um, this is what's going on here. I've got a what they call a monopole rotor. And if you've studied John Bedini's work or um, any of that stuff, um, he did a lot with monopoles, which means that it was north on both sides of his rotor. They didn't go north, south, north, south. It went north all the way around. Then he pushed on it or pulled on it with another pole from the coil. And so this is what's called a monopole uh, motor. But it's done in kind of a weird way. And this is what became rather fascinating about this project was these magnets are glued together in opposition, north to north, south to south, basically, in repulsion. So you have to press them together to get them to stick. And it creates a very, very weird magnetic field that when interacting with the... Uh, coil and the reed switch and the power source made a really fascinating project for me and let me show you what I mean is that's north right there this is south and it's going to attract this is going to pull together same thing on the other side this is going to attract if I flip the magnet around to north it's going to push it away and so what you've got is a very strange magnetic field in that rotor because the magnets are so close together and they have to be put together with super glue to hold them together in such a way that they won't fly apart especially when it's rotating but anyway let me show you how this works I'm going to put the power on here and um, give this a little click here and there goes the, um, the motor And the camera is uh, doing something weird with the frame rate, but that thing's really moving. And here again, it's a very strange motor with these magnets being all together north, south. And there's a whole bunch of them super glued together. They're these really weak ceramic magnets you can get really cheap. They're refrigerator magnets. They're not strong. And it made for a really interesting um, little project. Now, the toothpick is made by um, putting crazy glue on the end of it and with some graphite with the pencil and then the bearings are bent up paper clips with just a loop around it right there to hold the paper clip steady to make the motor run and I did this really quick just to see if the rotor would work but it made for a very very interesting little project and like I say um, I had a lot of fun uh, fiddling with this in my spare time over the last few weeks and so I thought I would share this with you is uh, I just call this the toothpick motor and I might go ahead and build up the whole structure out of toothpicks but maybe not because I liked the uh, paper clip bearing idea that seemed to work really really good if you got things set up just right this um, made for a very interesting motor And I've made two of them. I made one at the other house um, uh, using bigger magnets. It really goes pretty darn fast. But those are two magnets right there. You see they're sticking together north-south. Well, you flip those over, they're going to push apart. So you have to use the crazy glue to hold them together and uh, create this what they call a monopole, which is uh, one pole on each side of the rotor. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. This is my little... Uh, toothpick motor. Thanks for watching.